Hi there, my name is Tatiana and you are watching YouTube channel You Can. In today's video, I would like to share with you a few health benefits of the North American buffalo berry and ways of how to prepare and store it for winter use. Recent scientific study on the buffalo berry have put it into the superfood category and it is now considered to be the new superfood. This tiny berry is rich in vitamin C, phenolic antioxidants, lycopene, which is an antioxidant known to lower risk of certain types of cancer, is a great source of fiber, good for the immune system, has great anti-inflammatory properties, and the best thing is, it doesn't cost a cent. This berry has a mostly sour, tart, slightly sweet taste if gathered before frost. After frost, it has mostly sweet with some tart and a little bit of sour taste. We've collected these berries and right now I will show you how we process them to store them for winter use. So in order to process these berries I'm going to use my juicer and I will use the attachment that has the sieve so basically it will squeeze the um, seeds through into a separate, separate container and then the pulp and the juice will come through here. So my juicer is set and ready to go and basically what I will be doing is I'll be feeding the berries in here and this container is for the uh, juice and the pulp and this is for the seeds. As you can see these berries still have the tails attached. I'm not worrying about that. I will feed them into the juicer and the tails will come out with the seeds. As you can see, I have the two containers. This container has the pulp, in a way, and the juice, and then this has mostly seeds and some pulp. I throw this in a second time, and I get about as much as I get the first time from doing the pulp the second time. So you probably can see on the video, but this pulp is so much more dry the second time through than it was the first time. And there's a lot more pulp to this juicy stuff than there was the first time around. So now that I have the juice and the pulp, there's a couple ways of preserving it for winter. One way, which I'm not going to be doing right now because I've already done, done quite a few uh, quartz this way so I don't need more but what I did is I took and mixed these this substance together because as you can see there's a part that's more fluid and then more chunky like this so I took a whisk and whisked it up and then put honey raw local honey into a quart jar about a cup of it and poured this buffalo berry juice into almost full, mixed it together really well, and put the jar into my freezer. This will not get frozen solid simply because it's not water. There's a lot of acid in here, vitamin C, high content of vitamin C, and plus you're adding the honey, so that prevents a solid freezing. Um, I actually filled my jars to about right here and they didn't bust because they didn't expand like ice would or water would when it gets frozen. So this next method of storing and uh, preparing the buffalo berry uh, for winter is making fruit leather. Um, that's why I didn't want to mix uh, this very much so that it would stay in clumps because I will pour this into the sieve. I'm using a very fine sieve 
and the pulp will stay in and the more liquid stuff will flow through. All right, so the juice has dripped off and we have the pulp here. So I will just put it into this glass crock. So now you can see here on the sieve I have some pulp left. If that pulp is to remain here for the next round, the juice will not pour through. It will get stuck on this. Typically I would hit the sieve like this against my sink. I'm not doing that right now because my kid is sleeping. So in order to make fruit leather, you will need a dehydrator and parchment paper. So in order for the pulp not to go through the holes in the tray thing, I will put the parchment paper around, slightly going around on the underside so that it stays in place. So as you can see, um, the pulp is here and there's still some water separating. So I want to keep the water in the container and carefully take the pulp out and spread it evenly, as evenly as possible on the parchment paper. So I will be using my spoon with holes to press off the pulp from the water. This stuff is a little, like if you try to just swoop it around, spread it around like this, it breaks up. So you want to kind of use bouncing, tamping motions with the spatula to spread it evenly, as evenly as possible on the sheet. In this batch, I don't have anything as far as sweetness added. So this is just buffalo berry pulp. There's no honey, there's no sweeteners in it. Um, but you can add a little bit of honey or maple syrup or whatnot. Um, to add a slightly sweeter taste. So now I have this juice that's left in the crock. This will go into the freezer with a little bit of honey. So this turns out to be, in a way, a super potent medicine. I'm not a scientist, I don't have my own lab, but I'm pretty sure that the amount of antioxidants in this liquid, basically the liquid that was strained off of the pulp that we're making the fruit leather out of, is, is very potent. Um, so, you know, you can take it like a drink, you can take it like medicine, um, but I save all of this and um, use it throughout the year then. Mm. Whew. <laughs> this is really tart. So tart that you can't really talk right after you drink it. <laughs> wow. Very potent. So I made another bench off camera just to fill this sheet up and um, you can see right here there are little harder like little chunks of this pulp that have become kind of hard I'm assuming that this berry has a lot of pectin but I've not come across any information online um, that says so but I don't know what else would make um, it coagulate 
like it does. But you want to kind of break those little pieces up so that you can um, spread this out in more or less of a uh, even thickness so that it dries evenly um, and um, you can take it off easier off the sheet then but if you have like spots that are super thin like right here I have a thin spot um, it will dry out a lot faster than the thicker parts and by the time the thicker parts dry out this will be over dry and will lose its taste so that's the reason why you want to kind of um, do this as even as possible so that you don't have uh, parts that are over dry so here we go the fruit leather is ready I cut it into strips into circles like this and un untwirled they look about like that very tasty have you ever tried buffalo berry drop a comment below if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.